Hey guys, this is Michael Cheek with MikesGuitarLessons.com and this is the first video for I Knew You Were Trouble by Taylor Swift. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to learn it a couple of different ways and I'll put all the videos up but the first way I'm going to show you is the actually the best way to play it. What we're playing is basically some bar chords here because um, if we tune, we can tune down our guitar or we can use a capo and, and some stuff like that, but it's not exactly correct. If you want to play it 100% like it's played in the song, you want to use these bar chords. Now, I will show some easier ways to play it, but starting off, let's go ahead and learn these bar chords, okay? Now, um, I'm just going to play them slowly here so you can see the chords and then um, talk, to, uh, talk about the rhythm after that, okay? So the first chord we're going to play is an F sharp. Okay? Now, this is a bar chord, meaning you're pressing down more than one string with one finger. Okay? Now I'm going to start, I know I played the uh, chorus there at the beginning, but I'm going to start with the, the verse, the, the beginning of the song, okay? Which is going to sound like this. Okay? So, we're playing an F sharp at the beginning there. First finger's on the A string on the ninth fret. Third finger's gonna be pressing down the G string, the, I'm sorry, the D string, the G string, and the B string in the eleventh fret. And those are the uh, four, only four strings you're gonna play. You're not gonna play the two outside E strings, okay? You just try to mute those. So that's your first chord. Okay. Your second chord is a C sharp, and that's done. And there are a couple of places to play these, but this is the um, most accurate to make it sound like the song. Okay, so a C sharp is played right here, and it's kind of like you're taking these three fingers and doing an E chord with them, all the way, you know, down, instead of down here though, all the way up here, and then you bar behind it. So if you look at my hand closely, I've got the bar. I'm barring all the way across on the ninth fret. Okay, and then my third finger is on the eleventh fret of the A string. My pinky is playing the eleventh fret of the uh, D string. My middle finger is playing the tenth fret of the G string, and then my first finger again is barring the B string and the E string in the seventh fret. I've also got seventh fret on the thick E string here. Okay, so so that is your C sharp. Okay, your next chord is a D sharp minor. So from, from that last chord, you're going to slide up two frets. So now we're barring in the 11th fret. And the shape is almost exactly the same, but because this is a minor chord, you're going to pick up that middle finger. Okay, so now I'm barring in the 11th fret, all the way across. And my third finger is playing the 13th fret of the A string. And the... 13th fret of the D string. Okay? So that's your D sharp minor. And then our last chord for the verse is B. Okay? So what we did from there is just slide all the way back to where we're barring in the 7th fret. And then we go back to that E formation. So basically, keep these, the third and, uh, third finger and the pinky where they were, but put your middle finger back down. So starting at the um, thick E string, I've got 7th fret, 9th uh, fret, 9th fret, si uh, I'm sorry, 8th, and then 7th uh, on the B and E. Okay, so that's your last chord of the verse. Okay, so again, to review, F sharp, C sharp, D sharp minor, and then B. Okay, now let's talk about rhythm. Um, it's not too bad. It's, it's a technique that is a little difficult to master, but every chord is played the same way. So once you get it down, you can reuse it on every chord. Okay, and it goes like this. Okay, and then you start over. So let's go to that first chord real quick. Now what we what you can do is you can leave out the chucking and chucking if you don't know is where you're not 
holding down the strings and you rake across the strings like that. Okay? And just play it. Okay, so let's start with that. And then if you can add the chucking in, then um, you'll get even get it even closer to sounding the correct way. So how you get these chords to stop short is you lift the pressure up on your finger. So I'm going to strum once and then I let the pressure up on my left hand. Just enough to where the strings stop playing, not all the way off, okay? Because we're going to be going up and down throughout each chord. So strum once and then lift up and then do it again. So you actually do it three times. Okay? And then you do it three more times. So uh, I guess really you're doing it six times in a row, but make sure you get that balance between muting and not muting just perfect, okay? So down, up, so down, up, down, up. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then go to your next chord. One, two, three, one. Okay, so that is how you do the rhythm. Now, if you can do the chucking, you can watch what I'm doing. I'm going to do the same thing with my left hand, but I'm not going to stop moving my right hand. On those moments where I've got the strings muted, I'm going to go ahead and hit the strings anyways. It sounds like this. Okay, so okay. Now, if you go through a full speed, So that's the verse of the song. Now, one thing I want to point out is at the beginning of the song, you're going to play the F sharp two times in a row versus every other time you're, you come across it, okay? The, the, she just starts with the F sharp and plays it one time through, and then you actually start the verse where you're going to play an F sharp, C sharp, D sharp minor, and then B, and continue on that pattern. But the very first time, you play the F sharp twice, okay? Now. Um, in, in the next video, what I'm going to do, and, and you can just click on, um, I think I'm going to put all the videos up here on YouTube, so I should put an annotation that you can click on to go to part two, and uh, thanks for watching.